beautiful beaters, it's Gina from OrchidandOpal.com and this little beauty arrived in my mailbox yesterday and it kind of surprised me. It felt like I just got the one from April, but I guess it is the 15th and it seems like they were really working hard to try to get out these May subscriptions. I know some of you guys reported in the comments that you didn't get April's subscription. I'm really sorry to hear that. I know that they were doing the best they could and there's just so much craziness going on with shipping right now. But anyway, enough about that. Let's get into May's package. Let's open it up and see what is inside. By the way, I do have a coupon code if you'd like to use that. It's OPAL2 and that will save you $2 off your very first month of your subscription. This is definitely a favorite that I share here each and every month. And I even come back most of the time and share finished pieces, which is a lot of fun too. So here are our beads in this tissue paper package. And we have a note explaining what our theme is this month. And it says that our theme this month is Sea Breeze. We're celebrating warmer weather with the Seaside Palette. May's collection stars the natural beauty of Amazonite with freshwater pearl, crystal agate, and quartz accents. Gold findings complete this bright collection. And then of course we have a coupon code below that for their sister site, beadboxbargains.com, a closeout bead store, which is awesome that I've shared a lot here. You get 30% off on top of those discounted prices as a member of this subscription and you can use that coupon code more than once. So on the back of that paper, we have our list of everything that's included. It looks like we have 17 different items to go through, which I might add is a great value for a $17.95 per month box. That's why it's a favorite around here and free shipping as well in the US. Always an amazing value it seems like and Let's get a little sneak peek of what's in our tissue paper bundle. And there's the good stuff all about those colors. So let me get organized over to the side and then we'll look at everything one at a time. We are starting right out of the gate with a gorgeous strand of beads. This says it's a 15 inch strand of eight millimeter frosted Amazonite round beads. Check out this gorgeous handful of Amazonite and they're all a little bit different, of course. I always love the color variations in these strands. So relaxing and definitely just makes you automatically get that beachy feel from these colors. You have the light seafoam green shades, you have the sandy tans and browns, you have the rocky grays, the foamy white, just a lovely combination in all these beads and quite a long strand that you get. It's always deceiving how much you can actually do with these subscriptions. So we're off to a great start and I'm just gonna keep that right in the center because I think that kind of has our whole color palette all together right in that strand. All right, so bag number two, have a lot of findings in this subscription as usual and they're all color coordinated. So this month of course is the gold plated brass like it said and this bag contains five grams of 35 millimeter brass eye pins in that gold finish. So these would be great, definitely come in handy. Nice to have a lot of findings along with the beads that are color coordinated. So you can make a lot of things automatically if you don't have a big stash of things built up. These of course will be so great for earrings, cluster necklaces, cluster bracelets, some little links, you name it, lots of different uses for these eye pins. And then next in bag number three, we have some more beads. It says, okay, I had to take a minute because my number three is actually saying it's 10 pieces of scrolled links, which these are not, but that's okay. I see these listed as number nine, I believe on the list. And this should be the 12 inch strand of six millimeter crystal round beads in the Caribbean blue color. Isn't that a beautiful shade? Makes you want to dive right in. Definitely nailed it when they called this color Caribbean blue because that's what I think of. Some of that bright water that would feel so good right about now. So as you can see, these are glass beads. They have the little facets on them. They're kind of glossy and shiny. Move them around just a little bit under the light and they are an opaque color. These will go very well with our Amazonite and definitely pull out some of those deeper aqua tones that are contained on the strand. 
All right, next, our number four is listed as containing a 17-inch strand of 4-millimeter crystal bicones in the blue iris tone, which these do appear to be. Such a beautiful, flashy strand of bicones. They are so sparkly with the little rainbow iris finish on them as well. These will go with a number of different things because they really pick out a lot of different colors and kind of blend with whatever you put them with. Very beautiful sparkle. Those are a nice addition. Here is bag number five. I can already see these have a luster on them. These are a five and a half inch strand of 14 by six millimeter crystal faceted teardrop beads in a turquoise AB. There's that AB finish. These are a lot of fun. That color is absolutely stunning, getting hints of green and blue coming out, as well as the little bit of a lustery rainbow effect on these teardrops. Not the highest quality beads, unfortunately. Mine's got a little breakage there, but the rest of them seem to be in good shape. I really like the shape of these beads. It's something different than basic rounds, and I think they'll make a gorgeous statement at the bottom of a necklace or dangling off of earrings. Lots of different ways you can use these, and I know they will be beautiful. And then bag number six. This one says it contains four pieces of 14 by 13 millimeter fancy chandeliers. And here is a look at these up close. I really like these. They are pretty small but they still pack a punch with that bright gold color and all the detail going on. You have several different areas here where you can add strands of beads or do a number of different things with these types of connectors. And they are the same on both the front and the back. Number seven is a bag containing one meter of five by four millimeter and three by two millimeter steel figaro jewelry chain. And this is actually in a more toned down gold color than the brassier gold that you can see here down below in those chandelier components and the eye pins. You can see that subtle variation in color and I'm always on the lookout for more of this gold just because it's a personal preference. Nothing wrong with this gold at all. I just find the more toned down a little bit more difficult to nail down when shopping for that online. You can see how this chain has the two different size links and they're pretty wide open. So it'd definitely be a good option for beading onto lots of space for you to do that if you wanted to. And again, generous amount of chain like they usually send. All right, here's bag number eight. We're getting into some more beads. This contains a strand of 7.5 inches of four to five millimeter semi-round cultured fresh water pearls. These are so beautiful and so appropriate for a beachy themed box. And the pearls always add a great luster, that natural feel of that organic shape. They're all slightly different, but around the same size. And they have a beautiful sheen and luster on them like freshwater pearls do. I'm gonna skip over number nine since we saw that strand. And here is bag 10, which contains 30 pieces of scalloped bead caps, another staple item. And here are the bead caps up close. As you can see, they're pretty simple, a basic kind of floral shape with the little petals that would go around each of the beads and in our coordinating gold tone and finish. All right, and I'm gonna back up so we can look at this bag. This was listed as my number three on the list, but that's okay. These are the 10 pieces of 18 by 13 millimeter scrolled links. And I'm always a huge fan of getting things like this because there's so much you can do with them. And I feel like I say that every time, but it's really true. It's amazing what you can do, not just with beading, but with resin. Think like UV resin. I recently did something with UV nail polish and a little connector like this last month. Clay, oh my goodness, all different sorts of things. And they are the same on both sides. They actually feel decently thick. You can't bend them or anything. And 10 pieces is really generous. Lots for us to play with. Now getting back on track here with bag number 11, which contains some faceted barrel spacer beads. Here's a close up look at those. 
which remind me of the Czech Fire Polish beads. And by the way, these are three and a half millimeter in size. Nice to get a staple like spacer beads in a coordinating color, but also in a shape that I don't have either. I am sure I will have no trouble using these up. Then we have bag number 12. This contains two pieces of steel and synthetic. Druzy Lynx says teal and gold finish. These are actually really gorgeous. They are extremely lightweight because they are synthetic. They're not real, come on. But even from close up, they have that beautiful sparkle inside that Druzy's do, a very rich teal color. Maybe the first major difference is they don't have the kind of rings of the different colors showing up around the sides, but they actually look very nice in my opinion. Nice enough to make yourself some fun costume fashion jewelry. There is a closer look at the sides, so just kind of a light foiled edging around those. And since they're lightweight, they won't really weigh down whatever you make with them. So I'm kind of thinking earrings right away, just because they wouldn't really weigh down your earlobes, but they also make a really fun statement. And then next we get to bag number 13, which contains two more links, this time with a freshwater pearl inside, also in the coordinating gold tone. Aren't those pretty? I am sure these are all gonna be just a little bit different. That's the nature of freshwater pearls. You can see this one's got kind of that ring effect inside. They have that light golden colored coating and another unique and definitely appropriate addition. And then in bag number 14, of course we need some class. We have four sets of 18 by 19 millimeter classic rope accent toggle clasps. Very basic and simple design, classic design in the coordinating gold finish and generous quantity. You get four, not just one or two, which is always so nice in my opinion for the price of this box. Next, we have bag 15. I can't wait to take this beauty out of the bag. It's a 41 millimeter brass edged natural Amazonite teardrop pendant. And it is very thin. Look at how thin that is. which I think is kind of cool because it actually lets some light through in a beautiful way. You can see the light striations of the tan, and if you squint a little bit, you might even be able to see a seascape in some of these pendants with the color striped that way. That might be a little bit of a reach, but I like it. Pale beachy tones has a thin perimeter of the golden tone. That's more of the toned down gold look. And you could get as simple with this as you like, just adding this to chain as it is, or you can get really crazy with it, beat around it. So many different possibilities with something like that. And then next up is bag 16. These look absolutely delicious in there. Seven inch strand of four by two to three millimeter faceted dyed quartz rondelle beads in the color teal. Oh my goodness, yes, this is what I am talking about. Those are beautiful and they go so well with the other contents that we've received so far. Look at the glossiness of those faceted quartz beads and that rich beachy color. I like how there's just slight variations in the different tones, just that soft faceting on these. I like that we get a whole strand of something like that to work with. And we have arrived at our very last bag, number 17, which contains a seven and a half inch strand of six millimeter electroplated agate round beads in blue iris. And there is a close up look at these rich royal blue beads. You can get a sense of the electroplating when you look closer to where the holes are located. The blue kind of starts to turn more purplish in those areas. And every once in a while, you'll get a little bead that looks like that and that is intentional. And that's why there is a asterisk next to this item on the list because it says may show some Druzy inclusions and that's what they're talking about. That is supposed to be there. All right, so that is everything for our May 2020 Sea Breeze theme. And I think they absolutely nailed it with the color scheme, the contents. They're so consistent, aren't they? And every month's theme is different, so if you don't like this particular theme, next month will probably be totally different than this. 
They do switch up the tones of the findings each month as well, but it's such an awesome value to be able to get all of this for $17.95 a month shipped to your door. And don't forget you can take advantage of that coupon code to save $2 off your first month if you'd like to try them out with that code OPAL2. And I will leave the link to the subscription as well as that coupon code down below the video. I also want to give a shout out to their awesome customer service. I've heard this from many of you guys. It's not just in my experience, but I want to circle back to this strand. For example, I mentioned there was a bead that had a bit of a crack. I'm not worried about it at all, but I know for a fact that if I reached out to them and said I received a strand of beads with some damage, they would definitely make it right. They are all about their customers and are really doing the best they can, especially with the huge amount of growth that I'm sure they have seen over the past couple of years especially. So this is another box I highly recommend for a wide variety of beaters, not just new beaters, but also ones who have quite a bit of experience. I've done all kinds of projects with these, not just stringing. You can play around with bead weaving, wire, you name it. I've got a lot of videos sharing finished pieces from the contents of these boxes, so feel free to check those out if you haven't already, as well as a playlist for all of the bargain bead box unboxings over the past couple of years. As usual, I really do appreciate each and every one of you being with me. I wouldn't be here sharing these unboxings without you, and I hope this gives you a good idea as to what's included in the bargain bead box if you've been curious and helps you come to a decision on which box is right for you. So I hope you'll stay tuned for more unboxings, more finished pieces, all those things. I hope you're staying healthy and creative. Feel free to leave me a comment down below, of course. I'll see you guys again real soon, and as always, Happy beating. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. For more content like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of my latest videos. You can check out the information section below this video for links to all my social media handles, recommended products, and my shop and blog at orchidandopal.com. Thanks for watching.